They are called Un, Deux, Trois, Petit Pas, and they offer a variety of French workshops throughout the Ottawa region, uh, geared toward infants, toddlers, and their parents, of course, as well. Joining us right now, we say hello to uh, Amy. I might have to introduce your son first, because he's probably the star <laughs> of the segment, uh, as he was the last time. Jude War is here. Jude, you're on TV. Bonjour. You can see himself right there. <laughs> he might probably, he might stare at that screen the whole time. <laughs> uh, Amy War is here as well. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us. It's wonderful to have you back. Okay. Uh, or should I call you uh, uh, Madame Amy? I do go by Madame Amy most often these days. Yeah. Okay. So tell us a, a, a brief history of this business, why you started it up. Sure. So um, prior to having my son, I was a French immersion teacher here in Ottawa. And during my maternity leave, I realized that there wasn't very much in terms of support for parents hoping to raise bilingual children. And being a French immersion teacher, I thought, hey, why don't I start that myself? So I started Un de Toi Petit Pas um, about a year and a half ago um, in the hopes to ensure that any any parent in Ottawa has the opportunity to introduce French to their baby, toddler, or preschooler, no matter how little French they know themselves. Okay. Now, let's talk about some of the services that you do offer, sure. and we'll get into the, some of the new stuff. I mean, just basic everyday French is what you're offering here just so they can get a grasp on it? Yeah, so it's it's basically um, kind of like a crash course in French in order to use French with your child. So a lot of the times um, parents, let's say, might be bilingual for work, but they go, oh my gosh, I don't know how to speak French to my baby or my, or my toddler. So they come and they learn that way. Or just somebody who's a complete beginner, it's, it's really easy to start off with the basics mm -hmm. because you're learning at the same pace as the little ones. Is it difficult to teach an infant, a toddler, French? Because <laughs> you don't really know what they're, if, if they're paying attention, what, what's going on up there. Oh gosh, they are like sponges. Yeah. So if you're speaking, they are listening. The only thing that's a little bit difficult is to keep their attentions, but that's why we've got all of our fun, um, we've got a parachute, we've got hmm. puppets, instruments, and we try to make sure it's a very fast pace and we we never have a dull moment in class, that's mm, for look sure. That. Look, look at that right there. I mean, that, that, look, that looks like a fun time. <laughs> and I think even as a parent, it would be a lot of fun, a class like this to yeah. teach your child to, because parents are learning here as well. Yes. In a big way. Okay, so now Jude is, is now his, please forgive me, his, his initial language, his primary language is English. So it's actually French. It is French. Yes, okay. um, which is funny because um, my first language is English and his dad currently speaks English only. And so I have been doing my best to make sure that French is really the primary language with him at home. Mm -hmm. And that's because I know that that's going to be the one that's harder to learn in the future. So. Um, yeah, we'll be putting him in French school for sure, but then maybe I can chill a little bit in the yeah. is <laughs> and we'll he, get uh, more English. Is he this well behaved at home? Because every time I see your son, <laughs> it just, uh, it's amazing. We are, we are very lucky. He's very, very well behaved most of the time, but he's not this quiet at home, that's yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can imagine, okay. So it's very possible then to teach parents and kids at the same time with what you do. Yes, yes. I find that um, parents are surprised by how much they learn with the class. Um, it's really funny because um, parents, they'll come and they'll think they're signing up for their child and then they're like, oh my gosh, I'm learning so much myself and, and it's a great way just to make sure that parents have that opportunity to keep learning as well. Mm -hmm. You've seen a lot of progress? I have. Yeah. That's actually been the most rewarding part of starting Un Deux Petit Pas so far. Um, the ones who started as infants about, I guess it would be just over a year now, um, now they're toddlers and now they're, they're speaking like French words and phrases in class. They're singing our songs at home. Um, the toddlers and preschoolers, they're always singing our songs and parents actually send me their home videos of mm -hmm. the little ones, you know, singing the tunes. I, the other day I actually got a baby monitor filmed and sent to me because the child was singing Un Deux Petit Pas, our little theme song, in oh, their bed. <laughs> that's adorable. These are some of the, uh, the items that you'd use uh, to, to entertain and to yeah. help educate? Um, so as I mentioned, you know, there's a parachute. Um, we have our ribbons. We've got sensory type toys. Uh, we've got puppets. Um, and really the goal is just to make sure that the little ones are fully engaged. And then it's also good to have these kind of tools for parents to know how to use those types of things while speaking French with them. Where exactly are you located? What is this So happen? 
I do the traveling so that the parents do. don't have to. Um, I started actually the last time I was here I was only in Westboro in Canada and now we are east, we're west, we're south. I've got 10 different locations and there's actually four other teachers teaching wow. alongside me. Yeah. Just over 45 seconds left here so just briefly tell us what's available this summer. So this summer um, it's a little bit different because we do a prep for school program for children ages 3-4 about to enter school. It's basically to make sure they have everything they need to start school confidently and so do their parents. And then we also are running a, a mommy and me type or daddy and me as well type summer camp where we go to different locations and different activities to learn French. All right. Un, deux, trois, petit pas. You'd think that I learned from you. I don't there speak go. French very well. All right, Jude, how are you? You're good? Ça va bien? Ça va bien? Oui? Oui? <laughs> He's had a great time. And as always, it's hard to pay attention to anything you're saying with him on your lap. I it's know, just, I'm sorry. He's, He's the most adorable kid. Okay, well, thank you, Amy and Jude, for being here. And of course, more details at your amazing website. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Dylan. Thank you. And more daytime coming up on Rogers TV.